What's up, y'all? I'm coming to you like real crusty, but we're gonna transform throughout this video, okay? I was so excited, and um, I'm one of those like people on Influencer and stuff, and guess what they sent me? Yup. Got to be glue, y'all. So I already used this to lay my wigs, but I do want to point out that they sent me more stuff because that's amazing. They gave me this little card. Get hold so strong, it'll last you to your next shampoo, which is 100% true. Like, got to be glued. Like, this stuff, you have to wash it out. There's no way in H double hockey six. You know how, like, some gels, like, you can, like, flake it out and move on with your life? No. There's no moving on from, from got to be glued. You stuck. It's like the boyfriend that's crazy and stalks you. That's got to be glued. So what they sent me was the glued flask free, uh, free spray and then the invincible styling gel. So this is what I actually um, use all the time. I just recently purchased one of these. Um, but this one I use all the time. I've used so many tubes of them. And basically today I'm going to show you how I use my got to be glued. Um, you've probably seen this technique from a bunch of other people, but I'm gonna show it again because I've seen so many unlaid wigs in the world and you know, we need to fix our wigs, ladies. We need to be able to do cartwheels and our wigs are still in place. What I do before I put my wigs on is I make sure I wash, I deep condition. So I use the Macadamia um, Deep Repair Mask to condition my hair. I slept with it on because I'm a child and I can never like remember to rinse it out so I slept with it in and then um, to moisturize my hair after I rinse all that out I went ahead and moisturized with the as I am leave-in conditioner and then a little bit of the Cantu conditioning um, to seal all that conditioner in I use the main choice doesn't get much better than this hair dressing so I just like slathered some of that in there so my hair wouldn't get dry for however long I wear the wig I already have my little like braids I'm not even gonna show you what they look like because I really can't braid so next thing that we need is a what is this called a stocking cap there we go so this is like the nude color you can get one that's a little bit darker um, I find that it doesn't truly matter because of the next few steps that I'll show you in a second so just popping the sucker on my hand um, and what I did is I twisted the braids underneath so they're nice and tucked under. And I'm just going to take my Eco Styler Gel and a little toothbrush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the gel to like this side, right? Um, my wig is a, ooh, snap. It's just a little wig that I made. Um, so it's like three bundles of like Brazilian or something like that. And then I have a closure on top. I've had this wig for so stinking long. I don't even, I think it's Ali Annabelle, the hair, and it's time for the got to be glued. So the reason that we're using got to be glued right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it right to the front of my hair, um, and it's basically gonna glue down my wig cap so it doesn't shift underneath. Um, I just find that it, I don't know, I hate when it shifts around. So that's really it. Like, I remember when I first started doing wigs, I um, didn't do this step. And my freaking whip wig cap would like fall off after like a few days. It pissed me off. So that's what I'm doing. Solidifying my cappage with some got to be glued. And then we're gonna slide our wig cap right on top. Uh, slide it back a little bit. But we really want it to cover like all of our hair. So, got to be glued. So I'm gonna put some on my finger, right? We're just gonna like paint it in this relative region. So I'm gonna focus it right now, right here. Beep. Right on the skin, right? But I also want it to be on my actual weight cap. So I use a crap ton of got to be glued. Um, luckily there's a lot in this little tube and you don't have to keep using it. So after this like one day, it'll stay on my head for, I don't know, three or four days without moving. If I don't go out, if I go out, like, that's a whole nother scenario. We are just spraying, oh yeah, oh yeah, all over the top. I'm just gonna use my toothbrush to like, evenly distribute that. So something else that I ended up grabbing is some bobby pins. So the reason that I'm using these bobby pins is because I 
don't like to use blow dryers because most of the time when I am applying my wigs, I'm like applying them and then going somewhere. Like nobody has time to sit around and blow dry the top of their scalp. Nobody has time for that. So I'm just going to turn my wig inside out, right? So this is the inside of the wig. I'm just going to pop it on my head. I'm not putting it on yet. I just, I'm just getting myself mentally ready <laughs> for what's about to happen. And then I want to get rid of these little funky hairs because basically once I glue the sucker on, it's on, you know? And just placing it. So it's gonna touch my actual skin just a tad. And that's it. Super easy. You can see I have this awesome humpity, right? We're gonna fix this humpity. But until then, we are just going to continue to secure our wig. I'm gonna make sure my wig is covering my stocking cap. So I'm gonna pull my wig down, right? Then I'm going to use a bobby pin. Right where I pull down, I'm going to secure the wig in. I'm probably going to do it right behind my ear. Since the hair is so thick there, you won't even be able to see the bobby pin. If you can see, my wig is a little bit raising in the front. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to wipe my forehead. Um, just getting rid of any excess glue. And then we're going to take a little bit of got to be glued on the end of my toothbrush. We're going to put it on that lace from my closure. We're just spreading that out. Concentrating it right here, right in the center where you're gonna spend, like people are gonna see the most, you know? I'm gonna take a, whatever this comb is called, I'm just gonna press down in the center. All right, and then we're also going to take the got to be glued. We're gonna spray the end of our comb, was it rat tail comb? I don't know. We're gonna spray the end of it with a little bit of the got to be. And we're just going to tap that right into the center of our closure. And this is just going to help us bond right in the front. So right now my closure looks super, it's like flat, but we're going to fix the color in a second. So just ignore the ugly color. So this is the only time I blow dry um, is for this next step is to get rid of this humpity. Um, stay. Okay. So what we're going to use is we're going to use my Garnier Fructis extreme control hairspray um this one is a lot softer than the got to be glue and i'm just going to spray that on the top right a nice little mist i'm going to take a brush and brush it down but we want it to be as flat as humanly possible so we're going to apply a little bit of heat so now it's time to fix our actual closure it's closure itself um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this angled makeup brush and then I'm going to use my um, Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the color 335. Um, as reference, I am Fenty 350. And I'm just going to use this powder as basically a powder for my closure. Um, it took me a really long time to find a powder that ma was a good match for me. Um, but this one isn't too red. And it, it just looks good, you know. So I'm just like painting my closure nothing too fancy so that's what it looks like and then I'm going to take my Garnier Fructis and I'm just going to spray right on top oops, oops that was aggressive all right so I just sprayed on top so it basically will like melt everything I'm just brushing sideways to get rid of those flyaways so this is going to get do two things it's going to melt the shading that I just put on the actual closure and it's going to help get rid of my flyaways I'm gonna use this little like black charcoalish color right here. If you can find a better black, um, I 100% recommend it. I was just too lazy to keep looking. And I'm gonna use this flat brush right here. Just gonna get some of the black. And I'm just gonna use that to paint over any of my mistakes. Because we like to just ignore our mistakes and move on. <laughs> so that took freaking forever for me to do my makeup. Anyway, so um, now I'm just gonna fix my baby hair. Um. I'm just gonna use the same toothbrush as before because you know it does all my stuff so for the actual front so I got a little bit of makeup on these but you know it's okay I just use a tiny tiny bit and I'm just using my eco styler gel gel and I'm just pushing them like spreading them out and creating like fake baby hair nothing too fancy actually like it's like super basic baby hair 
and you have to make sure that you blend it in with your actual hair or so it'll look insane if your hair is blown back for some odd strange reason so again just lift it ah lifting up the wig swoop de dooping the edges and that's it nothing really too special so now I'm just gonna go ahead and go get dressed but this is what my hair looks like. This is what the closure looks like up close. So you, it's not like extremely clockable, but then again, you know, you have like a closure on your head, but so this is what it looks like. I think it actually, my hair turned out pretty good today. So this is what my hair looks like. Ooh, laying as flat as possible. Like that's what it looks like when I pull my hair down. So like it's, it's pretty nice and flat. Uh, there's a little weird humpty right there, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I will see you next time. Peace.